Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you something totally different than I do usually. However, I think this one is really worth the notice uh, because you can save lots of money on having your garments display or any single display in the aircraft that you want to have right in front of you on your tablet. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Alright, so I think we can get straight to installing those things. So, um, first of all, um, I'm going to show you my screen. And we're gonna go and open your browser. And now type in Space Desk. Uh, space Desk, actually. Space Desk. Uh, there's going to be a link down in the description. And if you go over here, you can have a look if there is your language available. And now uh, you can download it for the Windows version that you have. And mine is Windows 10 Home 64 bit. So this one I have downloaded. And now after that is done, uh, we can open it. And you'll have uh, an installer, of course, but I think you already know how to go through installer. And right now, uh, my a uh, my IP came up, so there is a blur on the screen. But basically, it will start your uh, shared screen. So, actually, right now we can move to have a look how to download it on your tablet. Okay. Um, sorry for a bit worse quality of audio. However, I'm recording this one with my phone. Um, maybe not the greatest quality. Okay, so after you, you just have to download it from the Google Store. It is also called Space Desk. And now, if you open this up, um, that's the Space Desk Viewer, and you will have your machine um ready. If if not, then you have to add it by pressing this plus. And now let's press connection. And it is connected. It is actually connected as my second screen. Uh, so let me show you how to now set this up properly. Okay, so I think this view will uh, will do the job. Um, I will not need OBS anymore. Okay, so we have those two active, so we can close them. And now what you want to do? Um, for example, I want to have this Garmin G1000 with me, uh, just to be able to see it better on a tablet. So, in order to do that, I get to go um, to the flight sim and press right alt and left mouse button on the screen. And actually, as you can see, it's already here. Um, not in the greatest resolution though. We fill in and use the snap. Uh, so basically, it will make you. F it will make a pop-out window for you, uh, something like that. This is the pop-out window which you will have. Uh, you cannot interact with it, which is which is actually bad. Sad. That's that's um that's a bit of a disadvantage of it. However, if you want to use the tablet for different things on your computer, um, the app will react to your touch actually um, so that's pretty nice and if you want to move it to the side you just gotta go here catch this thing and move it off your screen and it will appear on your second screen right like that you see and with that said you can get straight into flying <laughs> 